Wherever you go, I shall go. Wherever you live, so shall I live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God too. Hey everybody, Mr. Dustin here. Welcome to Bible Class. I'm so glad that you came to be a part of our Bible study together. The song we just sang is one you probably don't know, so we're going to sing it one more time and then we're going to talk about it. So sing with me if you can. Wherever you go, I shall go. Wherever you live, so shall I live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God too. So that song is actually about the story of Ruth. It's found from a book in the Bible called Ruth. And there, there's a line in that song. It says, wherever you go, I shall go. And wherever you live, I shall live. This is actually something that Ruth said to her mother-in-law named Naomi. Uh, we're going to read about it in our story today. It's a very brave thing for Ruth to have said. I actually have this, this ring here. You can see this is a ring that belongs to Miss Megan. I gave it to her. And it has those very words on it in Hebrew. Hebrew is actually the language that the Old Testament was written in. Now, as you can see from this picture of the ring, Hebrew is a very different language than English, and the writing is very different. Knowing that the Bible was written originally in Hebrew, it makes sense that that ring is in Hebrew too. So thinking back to the words that are on that ring that Ruth said, because she followed through with this brave decision, Ruth became an important part in the, the lineage of Jesus Christ because of her obedience and her bravery. So let's look at our story of Ruth today in our Beginner Bible. If you have your copy of the Beginner Bible, you can read with me. This story is called Ruth and Naomi. Let's read it together. Naomi grew up in the Promised Land, which was also called Israel. But now she lived far away. She had a husband and two sons. Ruth was married to one of her sons. Then something sad happened. Naomi's husband and sons died. Not long after that, Naomi decided to go back to her homeland. See Naomi and Ruth? They're sad. Their husband died and their sons died. Naomi told Ruth to return to her parents, but Ruth did not want to leave her. She loved Naomi so much. I will go wherever you go, Ruth said. Your home will be my home. Your God will be my God. So Ruth went with Naomi to Israel. See him walking to Israel, the promised land. They needed food to eat. So each day, Ruth gathered leftover grain from the fields. A good man named Boaz owned the land. One day, he saw Ruth in the field. He wanted to help her, so he left extra grain for Ruth to gather. See Ruth gathering grain? Boaz fell in love with Ruth. They got married and had a baby boy named Obed. God had blessed Ruth and Grandma Naomi with a brand new family. See? God provided for Ruth. Now, what, what did we read about in our story today? You see that a lady named Ruth, she lost her husband, and then we, we met her mother-in-law, Naomi. Naomi lost her, her husband and her two sons. One of them was Ruth's husband. And now they're going back to the promised land, Israel, the home where Naomi came from. But Naomi said, Ruth, don't come with me. You stay here. Go back to your own parents. And Ruth said, no. She said that she would follow Naomi wherever she went and that Naomi's God, which is the one true God that we know, would be her God too. 
So when she went with Naomi to Israel, she met a man named Boaz. He provided her with food to eat when she needed it so badly. And they later ended up getting married. And they had a son named Obed. Obed is the father of Jesse. And he is the father of David. Now, while Ruth started out at the beginning of the story in a very sad situation of losing her husband, God provided for her in her obedience. And God always provides for us, too. It isn't always how we might think it should look. Maybe it's not even always how we want it to be. But God always provides for us, and he always loves us. I want to sing our song one more time from the beginning. Wherever you go, I shall go. Wherever you live, so shall I live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God too. So today, we have this craft. You can go print this page, and then you can color Ruth, and you can color the grass, and you can draw grain, or you can do what we did. We got some oatmeal, which is grain, and we put a little bit of glue, and then you can put the oatmeal on these different places so that you can see and you can actually feel the grain as well. And so that's, that's a craft for you to remember what we talked about today and how God provided for Ruth. So let's pray together, and then we'll be done with Bible class for today. God, we thank you so very much for loving us and for providing for us, for watching out for us. Uh, just as we read about how you took care of Ruth and Naomi in their distress, we know that you provide for us today. Thank you for loving us and for providing Jesus, that we could be forgiven and we can be saved through him. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Thank you for coming to Bible class today. I hope that I will see you again on Wednesday. Have a good week.